Hey guys, Razor from Razor's Edge here, and today, yes, is patch day. Guild 3, the Guild 3, has upgraded. Golem Studios has released yet another patch. This one addresses the storage rules and transport rules. They should now be available from the production menu, so we'll test that. Uh, we were doing a workaround with the I key, if you'll remember. Um, the production menu will still be accessible while a business is being upgraded and they modified the selling price of items and businesses. So looks like a lot of economy enhancements. Um, there's also been some scenario change maps. Um, the Magdeburg, Augsburg and London, they've added mines, lumber yards and uh, some quarries. So. We haven't really played around too much with scenarios, but one thing I'd like to remind you is that with any early access, delete those old saves and start a new game. There's just all kinds of changes that aren't going to be there for your new game with each patch. So. We're going to go in and we're going to do Magdeburg. We'll see if those, uh, let's uh, see here. We'll start in career mode because you start with more money. And we'll do it on easy just because, well, this is uh, a test. So anyway, let's let's take a look. Let's see if we see more mines. Um, one of the things I want to check out, I want to see if more people are making carts. If you found uh, a lot of people go and, and I, I've read uh, every almost every post on the forum now that they've uh, they're less toxic. And one of the one of the mo questions: Where's the carts? Well, you can make them, and uh, or you can wait for somebody to build them. Now, occasionally, I'll see where somebody's producing them, so we want to check that out. The other thing I've been asked: uh, Can you marry a uh, someone from another? Uh, family, yes, you can. Now, in guild, the er the earlier guild series, you had to negotiate, and it was a courtship, and you had to go through and talk with the uh the leader of that, and uh, usually it didn't go well. Um, it was pretty hard. Um, but I was able to marry someone from another faction, and it does combine the family. Um, I don't know if that's intended or if that's something that they're going, they're tweaking. But it works right now if you make it that far. So and we and we we won't. We're we're not here to test that. So that's just a couple of questions that I saw that stuck out. Um, I'm not sure where the mountain blade uh, came out, unless you're talking about the top down trading part of mountain blade. Um, but uh, I've not seen anything. And, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, mountain blade was a combat first person sim and that's never what guild was about so anyway having said that we're gonna dive in we're gonna jump in start a new game and set things up and uh test out these fixes okay we started out with a carpenter and i did the little tutorial thing had you make some things sell some things buy some things and that gets that that gets you pretty much set up and then we went ahead and we built the first building available to us, which you have at this level, a resident, which was the carpenter shop. So that's what we have right now. We're building that up. And as soon as we get this building set up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get AI control. And we're going to test out uh, some of the features. Matter of fact, we can actually, let's see, yeah, we're going to, we're going to need the, uh, we're, we're going to need the storefront to be able to play with some of that. So I'm going to wait till that building's finished and we'll pick this back up and we'll see how well we're doing. Let's see how good Golem did. Okay, some good news. The I key is no longer required. As you notice, if I click on the storage rules, the sliders are all there. Everything's working as, as it's supposed to. Transport rules, same thing. I can set in uh, what my priorities are, whether I want it to be my own warehouse or the marketplace. 
So that is now all working. So no more I, I, I. <laughs> so good, good fix there. Now we do have, we should have some mines out there. So we should start seeing some metal, which uh, is probably going to be some of the carpentry pieces. But right now we're only working in wood. So we're going to go ahead and let's uh, start up a queue here. And we'll make some of these. So let's go ahead and uh, do an infinity. Good. Get old Razor popping those out. Oh wait, we need sticks. Boards to sticks, frames. Ah, we're gonna have to go to the shop. All right, that's not a problem. We still have a little bit of funds left, and as a matter of fact, right now we don't need that iron. So we'll go ahead and we're going to move that over to the storefront. Now, I'm not going to turn AI on immediately, but I do want to show you. And again, this is all in supply and demand. So we'll see. It used to be they just buy stuff out of here like crazy, whether the market had uh, inventory or not. So let's look at the market. Let's see what they've got. Let's click on the buildings. Let's go to the market marketplace. Yeah, see, they've got 513 in stock. They're selling for, they're offering nine. So what are we offering for? Let's see. We are offering for eight. So we're undercutting. I don't know how bad we got to undercut them. But uh, let's go. Let's go in and check. So storage rules, no, yeah. So let's actually let's take a loss. Let's go five percent. Let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't get them to buy some of these. A little nibble, make some money. Transport rules. We don't really have a cart, but. Yeah, not, uh... Still having trouble here. I never really got an explanation of that, so... We'll keep playing around with that as we progress. Um, it just may not be available to us right now. You know, that that's part of the problem with no real tutorial. You've got to kind of base it on your past knowledge. So, yeah, we're not selling anything here, so... Um, let's go ahead and, uh, we don't want to hire anybody. Let's give this to Razor and let's, uh, go make some cash. We're gonna need it. That's not gonna give us a whole lot, but... Nothing but work. Can't Wonderful. hurt. Finally some work. Finally, huh? Alright, so we sold that. It gave us a little bit of funds. Not a lot. And we're going to focus on, uh, we need him to buy while he's there. Yeah, I'm really. Let's see, marketplace, we need some frames. All right, let's see here. We're going to need a lot of these. So let's go ahead and get 10 and 10. And that takes us down. Wrong house. There we go. There's my house. Alright, so now with the boards... Oh, Razor, come on. Do your job. Get over here. Alright, so we can put these in our inventory now. We got 20 of 20, so we can start building some frames. Naturally. And he'll start cranking those out. Now, we did forget. So we need to set up our carpentry. What do we want to focus on here as a carpenter? I'm pretty sure I selected carpenter. I guess that all falls under that trait. Yep, it does. That's fine. So, we're going to pick stone masonry, woodworking, or metalworking. Hmm, I think we're going to go for that. So, let's, uh... I think we actually have to start with that guy. There we go. Taylor level zero. 
So we want to make sure we're working towards that. All right, let's speed up some time. See my citizen status here going up. Now, before they patch over the weekend, I did make it up to Patrician. I was pretty happy about that. No issues whatsoever. Crow. Hmm. I should see some progress here, and I don't, so I'm not. No, can't be that one. Let's just step back one. Let's go here. No, nope. yeah, that took the skill away, so. Oh, we def That's a tailor. We don't want that. Woodworking. There we go. Now oh, it makes me happy. Okay. So I'm gonna let this thing fast forward. You can see our storefront. We're selling at minus 5% so we can start undercutting. Let's see if anybody wants frames. And as we gain levels, these are these are pieces, these are wooden frames, so that's our goal here. We're gonna keep moving on. I'm gonna pause here. We're gonna have to go get some supplies. We're I guess we're gonna have to sell this stuff. We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Um, because we need more planks already. So let me do that. Let me slow time down. I'll pause the camera and we'll move forward and see where we get. Okay, so we're making walking sticks here. Um, I didn't see any in the market, so let's go ahead and set him up to Q for five. I went ahead and set the slider and the storage rules back to uh, storefront to full, just uh, no markup. If they sell really fast, I think I might bump that number up just so we can start making a little more cash. So let's go ahead and take what we have and put them in the front there. That's 76 gold a pop. We have two of them in there. Oh, sold one. See the profit. So they are selling. Okay, they just sold out. So we might even bump our price up. A lot of old people. <laughs> yeah, they're selling really good. Let's uh let's up our profits a little. And we're now a citizen. So we've got some upgrades, not only to this building, but to uh some of our status of our what we can do. Uh, let's see here. Actually, we know we don't have any upgrades to this building, but we might be able to. Nope, we need a level of that before we can upgrade the building. Let's see with add-ons. Of course, I'm not going to spend any money yet right now. We can hire one employee, but we're not. We're going to hold off. We'll wait. We can actually hire two. Let's make some more of those walking sticks and we're going to increase our price so let's uh change our storage rules and let's go with let's see if we can get away with a five percent five percent profit <coughs> somebody bite come on you know you want to all right, while they're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and make some more of these. So we got five, we got plenty of sticks. So I'm having him do five at a time, five frames. 
I think we sold one. I wasn't even paying attention. But not as fast. Yeah, they're selling. All right, now when when we get to the point where we can set up AI, get enough money in there, let's see if he can do that just as competitive. We'll set him at a profit. I wonder if that's in here. Or do I still need... Still need the uh, hotkey for that. Let me see, because I forget it. I forget what was available to us there, and I. Yeah, so in order to do the AI control, I still need to go into I, so we're going to set him to balanced. And we're going to let AI take control of this building. So let's uh, click on assets and put a 1 in there. Okay, so let's see what he does. Or we'll take control back. So he saw he's selling frames. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Don't sell my frames. Uh, we're gonna have to change this. Some of the values in the storage rules. We're going for profit here, dude. <laughs> I have to have a lecture with my AI. What did he do? He must have upgraded the building. And he hadn't sold a frame. Give me those back. <laughs> Maybe he knows what he's doing. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm a public nuisance. Why? Just because I'm raising my prices? So he automatically moved that to the front. Those frames are never going to sell. <laughs> I can change the storage rule down and so for a storefront. They still didn't fix the hover off of that. Um number of products to remain in storage or you can say number of products to go in your front store. Let's change that to one and <laughs> we'll force him. How's he doing that? He shouldn't be able to do that. I'm not sure how he's getting away with that. But we ran out of boards. I said profit, not up upgrade. So clearly, AI still got some issues. Um, maximize profit. That should be his focus. Oh, he's hired an employee. That's where all the wood went. I still a good key to watch the overall management of. And there's a balanced as well. Okay. Not sure why that employee is not showing up as a worker, but... Oh, he's probably going and buying supplies. Yeah, the sticks. That's what he's buying. Alright, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to watch and fast forward this and just see if we go bankrupt. Okay, he's going crazy here with Combs. So we'll see if he knows what he's doing. I did up that to two products. I might even up that to three. Oh, let's go storefront three products because they're doing quite well. Looks like he's transporting. Yep. Those are selling pretty well. Looks like the frames are selling at uh, 43 gold, 30 on the combs. Now he's got three products, so 80 on the sticks. And I'm just, I've kind of got Razor doing his own thing based on what's in stock. Just so I can level him up as well. Hmm. 
But as you can see, we are making profit. Everybody's in bed. Okay, so we have sticks and boards we should be able to go ahead and make frames. Just so we can level Razor up while we're waiting. And the AI is controlling the rest. So far, so good. Alright, we need more material. Let's see. We got frames and sticks. Let's do this before anybody can snag it away from us. That's a lot of employees. Let's check the market. Let's see if anybody's got any carts. That seems to be doing fine for now. Nope, no, uh, no long transport. So, yeah, we're going to have to. Like you can see us selling combs. We're, we're the only ones supplying that, so... That's pretty good. Looks like we have no com competition. And the lumberjack seems to be feeding us as fast as we can buy them up. So we'll keep an eye on these. We should, after we level, be able to start making some carts too. And then we just gotta go find somebody selling a horse, put that together, and... Boom, we got a transport. Alright, so we'll keep an eye on this. It seems to be fine. I just need to compete with the AI for resources and make these. <laughs> and I can actually queue him up. I could go for infinity and just every time that becomes available, he'll stop him here. Yeah, sometimes I have to pull him out of the building and pull him back in, but it fixes itself. I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, nice little patch. And hopefully this is showing you some of the economy with the AI. Um, how to turn it on. Um, tweaking the setting. You can see we're up to 1,320 gold already. So we are we're doing quite well um, it's just keeping an eye on the market where their supply is what their pricing is at as you can see we're doing a since we have no competition we're 5% I think if we up that further we'd probably slow our sales down but we would would make more profit matter of fact let's bump it up a little bit why not oh nope storage rules I notice those menus don't go away. Oh, go away. <laughs> Storage rules. Let's go for... We're really going to be hated now, but let's go for a 10% profit. <laughs> we'll see how that does. If it stops selling, we'll drop it back down. But, frees me up to be able to build what I want to do. Why are you not building? You got stick... Oh, I need frames. The Build me some frames. Now, before he has a chance to throw them into storage, give me some st walking sticks. Alright, I'm going to keep doing this until I level up and we can add some more products to the store storefront. We'll be right back. Okay, we just made it uh, to the next level, so we we're prompted. Do we want to upgrade to level 2? We're going to go ahead and say yes. The building does stay productive. Oh, we got a fist fight going out there. Mob riot. 
And we are a free citizen. So now we can actually train our abilities as well. So even though the, the building is upgrading, we can still continue to work until it's, the construction's done. But as you can see, we've significantly drained our, uh, our pool of money. But that's okay, we're gonna get better products. Whoa, it's finished. As you can see, now we can make handcrafts. So we'll watch what the AI does. We may need some storage. As we start to make profit, we'll start unlocking some of that. And I've got Razor making staffs anytime he gets a chance and sees opportunity. And that keeps him leveling up. I do need to go ahead and put some points into his next level. So we're now working on work woodworking level two. And we could actually work on the metalworking shop um, and make our own nails. But for right now, we'll get him from a smith. There's not too far away. Because you can see we actually need some metals material uh, for our for our construction of these items. So we'll see how the AI, they're, yeah, they're buying them already. So we'll keep an eye on this, how well they're faring. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes well. We'll be right back. Okay, so with that, with no interven intervention for me, I've just been picking up on plucking off like windows uh, bricks, anything I can get while the, there's production in here to do just to help to raise my level. Um, when I see the storage in there, I'm not really helping the AI, I'm just mimicking him to level up myself. So, just based on that, I did move some of these resources over to here, and I'll probably, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, now that we have some cash, I'm gonna upgrade some add-ons here. And we're going to add some storage space so that we can, uh, and we can actually do that. Uh, we don't have the next one yet, I don't think. Yeah, we do. Uh, there. So now we've got a couple extra storage slots. That should help them out a lot. And then the storefront, we're not going to do with anything with that. We're going to pull some of that out. I think that'll help them out. Let's get out here. Yeah. This is stuff that I actually moved out that he was buying to build. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, he wants to sell those. I did move the nails out here, so we'll put those back. But he's making money on his own. I mean, ideally, I want to be able to walk away. You can see Razor's still leveling up. He's actually still making these bricks. Um, but the idea is to be able to have a business, multiple businesses running themselves uh, with that AI control based on balanced uh, profits. Um, there's different options you have, as you saw in there. In case I didn't go over that enough, let's go back the way I know how to. Let's slow that, slow that down because I don't have... all the control I want. So the options are um, build security around your business, should maximize production, uh, or maximize profit, or just an overall balance. Um, and then you, or you can switch back to manual control. So that, those are the keys right there. Right now I'm, I'm doing maximize profits because we wanna get the most money for our bang. Um, there may be a way to get into that menu with the AI from inside. I did not see it um, within here. So, and I, I've went through all these options. I, I don't, I don't see it in there. So that's okay. At least you know that the I key exists in this video, and you know that uh, they do just fine. Um, Pretty soon they're actually going to start having the material here to build some carts. They actually do right now. We could build a cart. Let's switch Razor out. In fact, we... What's he missing? 
um, frames. Of course, the AI is not going to let me. <laughs> but by golly, as soon as somebody pops a frame in there, I'm going to have one. Because there are no carts on the market. The hand carts. And these are really nice because they increase my storage capacity for my workers and myself. Come on, somebody make a frame. I might even be able to make make somebody make a frame. You. No. Yeah. Make a frame. <laughs> Alright, so we're just waiting on him to finish that. Yeah, let's go. So I've had no crashes, no issues whatsoever. Progressed up. What? One level. Uh, I'm at working towards Patrician now. And level two in uh, woodworking. So overall, this is a really good patch for the storefront and the economy. And I look forward to the future content. This is a really good patch. Very impressed. Did we get a cart yet? Why is he still held up? Probably no slots would be my guess. We, did, we have no storage slots. I don't think we can get any more storage space. Nah, it's still locked till we gain another level. What's this? Yeah, not available to us. It's locked. Hmm. Alright. We can increase our front store slots, but that's really not what we want. Okay, so we'll just have to compete. I can move this over. We're not using metal for that cart. And that should start that. Unless I'm missing something now. I'm missing cart. Two nails. Planks. Two boards. Let's try forcing it again. Make a cart. Hmm. There is a slot open. Sometimes if I pop out of the building and just bring Razor out. I can check in there. Yeah, I'll just bring him out. Uh, go, go back. All right. Nothing but work. All right, now let's try it. Is everything in? No, now we have no free slots, so he won't. He won't start without it. But as you can see, I'm not losing money with AI. I'm just basically trying to increase my own skills. And I could, I'm pretty confident I could go build another building now. Once this got high enough and start working it manually on my own, working towards maybe the blacksmith, anything under that tree that you see in here. I could advance in any one of these trees as a secondary. You don't lose your progress in any of these skills and it unlocks more buildings that you can build uh, more things that you can make so anyway I hope you found this uh, patch as pleasing as I did and the gameplay even better so it's more we definitely more we can do uh, especially with AI control so anyway, this is Razor from Razor's Edge. If you like this video, subscribe. I, I would certainly appreciate it. I cover lots of indie access games, not just not just the Guild series, but this one's near and dear to my heart. So, um, in the and uh, 
Golem is just doing a fantastic job busting their butts. I hope they had a great weekend. I, I know uh, I did. I played this all weekend. So anyway, you guys have a great day. And uh, uh, until next time, this is Razor, and I'll see you when I see you.